Hi everyone. I'm sorry I've been away from the makeup tutorials recently. I've been concentrating on my acting, singing, dancing career. But now I feel it is very important that I return for this makeup tutorial. I、um, switched on the TV recently and was overwhelmed by the beautiful vixen that I saw on my screen. And、um, this was Jasmine Leonard. So today, as a very special tribute to her, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. So guys. I all know you want to look exactly like her, and I can help with the face, the skinny little legs. You're just going to have to start shaving away at them, and then you'll be left with those two little pepper armies. Now, we're going to start with the base、um, coat, and obviously, with, when you're nobbing away in LA and things, you've got a nice sort of dark, deep、um, tan. So I'm going to use equal parts、um, burnt sienna. So we just put them on the, on around there, and on there. So this is burnt sienna acrylic paint, not to be confused with burnt sienna miller. There we go. Here we get more. And the great thing about this, if you use slightly old acrylic paint, it gives a nice like texture to your skin as well, a bit like the nice youthful twenty-seven-year-old flesh of Jasmine Leonard. There we go. I think that's good. So if we highlight、um, certain areas with the darker one, because we're going to build up a skin tone foundation. So I'm going to use, as Jasmine does, you know, the cheekbones. Very important. There we go.、Um, bit of the nose, nice little shiny nose. Right on chin. Sort of like your、uh, your T zone. Okay. So equal parts. That's、uh, burnt sienna. Everyone、um, available from Cass Art, Calling and Wilcox in London. Um, then、uh, the next thing we're going to use is yellow ochre, and so we're going to go try and go for all over coverage with the yellow ochre. So I'm going to add a bit of water to to the yellow ochre, and we're going to start to put that on. And this gives a sort of healthy tanned, me-、um, not Mediterranean like Lorenzo, but um, um, real sort of the LA look. So once we've spread a bit of that on. I'm going to take a nice brush, as you would when you're sort of、um, uh, doing your fence in the garden. This one's from B and Q. I'm going to paint this so we get all over even coverage. Nice tan. Coming on now here. Don't forget around the eyes. Yeah, excuse the green eyebrows. Jasmine doesn't have these, but I'm going to cover them up soon. I don't think she has any natural eyebrow. Yeah, and so the great thing about this as well is we sort of once we smooth this over, we're left with an expressionless face, which is a great look. Don't forget to do a bit of the neck, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. It's the face we're interested in. So now I've got that. I'm go- actually going to go over the top with a bit more burnt sienna because I think this skin tone's a bit light. So I'll just do, we'll just rub it in. Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is exactly the skin tone we're aiming for. Perfect. We're sort of going for cross between. I'll keep with the meat references. A bit of chorizo and a nice top side of beef. So now we've got almost the basic face. I'm going to use a tiny bit of red acrylic paint. Don't worry. After this, there's no more acrylic paint because、um, I know these can be expensive. I think this one was 50p. So, and I know I like the cheap. And we're just going to do a tiny bit of cheek. Um, obviously, this is completely makeup with Jasmine because blushing due to embarrassment is not a thing that a gracious daughter of a Bond girl would ever be seen doing. Brilliant! I think we've got that down. So now we can concentrate. Sorry, this bit takes a bit of time. You've got to get it right, otherwise the whole look's ruined. Now we're going to concentrate on the top of that. Don't worry about the hands being like that because that happens with every fake tanner, doesn't it? Okay. So now I'm going to use some black, and I think. What we're going to concentrate on is these sort of like wicked eyes, which are brilliantly fun to do. So we're just going to close the eye and just go across like that.、And、same on the other side, and then you'll see once I open, amazingly like feline, sexy, come here the eyes. And with the same black colour, we're going to do、um, the eyebrow. Now,、um, as you know, Jasmine with her、uh, 27 years of age, like myself. It's looking so fresh and young.、Um, you know, I would,、uh, I would never. I, I thought actually she was fifteen. I thought is that allowed in Big Brother? 
Anyway, so she's got this lovely LA expression, so we're going to draw the brow. That. Now, for a bitchier brow, I'm not calling her a bitch, obviously, because she's going to be out soon. I'm a bit, tiny bit scared she might come after me. Just face in a bit more, like that. That's great. Um, perfect. And look how the black really like makes the eyes pop, which is one of the looks you need for this sort of crazed look of an insane... I mean, I, I don't know how she's done it. It's a really incredible look, getting like an insane 90-year-old um, Hollywood baby Jane look, but in the body of a sexy, um, tanorexic... 12 year old. Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this amazing Stargazer Grazer Green. Now, this is um, my own look on the Jasmine because she doesn't use the green makeup herself, but I think it gives this sort of sultry envy that adds something. And I'm just going to use it just there. And again, it just brings. I have blue eyes, but I think it really, you know, a bright colour there really helps pop. There we go. Brillo. Okay. So, the next most important thing is obviously the lips. The big blowjob lips. You know, we're going to be smouldering around. And um, also, the things that come out of Jasmine's mouth and go into it. It's, she's a very oral person. It's quite Freudian. So we want to draw a lot of attention to the mouth. I'm using this really great um, saffron lipstick that I got from the Poundland. I really recommend it because it's moisturising and it stays on through. I could be in the Big Brother jacuzzi sucking off the situation for hours and uh, these lips would not budge. Okay, there we go. So that's just the first line. So just follow the lip line as I usually do. As you can see, yeah. And you might be thinking this is a, a bit of a messy look, but it's just a natural look, really. I, and that's just sort of her to a T. She doesn't do anything. Yeah, she just arrived looking gorgeous, natural. And that's the kind of thing we're trying to um, portray in this look. The next thing I'm going to do is take a much darker lipstick. Now, you don't have to splash out what I've done on the Elizabeth Arden, but I just find it just gives that sort of sultry look. And it's great to leave trails of, as this one, quality does not come off. The Elizabeth Arden, it, you just leave it everywhere so everyone can know what you've been doing. So kiss and tell, so much easier when you leave lipstick marks on people's boxes short. Can you see the two tones there? Yep, brilliant. And again, just for the emphasis, but obviously this is only if you're doing a jasmine at the night time or eviction night or something like that. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of black lip liner. Yeah, just, just tiny, tiny, tiny. Let me just highlight certain areas. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Now, um, one of the most important things about jasmine is her amazing natural locks. And if you want to get that look, obviously I would suggest chemically straightening and recurling your hair about 17 times and then ironing it with a household iron. But I don't have time for that. So I'm just going to get this nice little wig that I got down there in Peckham. And if I've pre-distressed it a tiny bit um, just by sort of leaving it out in the sun and letting some stray dogs play, play with it. Did a few plaits, might take them out, might not. You know, maybe this is a bit of a... Bit of something here borrowed from Russell Brand. Anyway, so I'm just going to pop that on. I'm going to go, there we go. Now we want a sultry middle parting. Get it out of our face because we've just spent a lot of time on this makeup. But keep it down here on your cleaves, cleavage that is. Brilliant. It's not big enough. It's just not big enough. Shit the bed. I'm just not going to get this big enough, am I? Maybe if I just. Oh. Anyway. So I think basically this is the look we're going for, for the Jasmine Eviction Night look. Um, can't wait to see her clumbing it down Movidas. <laughs> and um, do you know what? I'm just going to do my fave as a homage to Samantha Brick. So I'm just going to add a bit of cleavage. Because right up to the chin, that's good. So there's nothing like having a nice, nice cleavage when you're out in the town. So here's my Jasmine Leonard. Hope you enjoy it and I hope you can... Uh, do the look at home. It's just, don't forget, just run your, run your fingers through that hair, run it through. Uh, anyway, here's my brilliant look. It says saucy, it says sexy, it says minxy, it says I've had a high life all around the world and um, I'm going to use my feminine wiles. So, what if I'm a bitch?